Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today is the final episode of the Shields Cooking 3ND special and I had a blast making it. I did seven videos in one week and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. So the final episode and it's gonna be great because we're going to make this beautiful pâte frite. It's going to be a two layered one. The first layer is going to be pomegranate and the second layer is going to be vanilla. So let's begin. We're going to start with the pomegranate. First, pour 250 grams of pomegranate juice into a saucepan. Then transfer 25 grams of sugar into a bowl, together with 7 grams of pectin powder. Mix this well. Now bring the juice to a boil on a medium heat. Once it's boiling, add the pectin sugar and while stirring, boil it for 1 minute. Continue heating it and slowly add 155 grams of sugar and 50 grams of glucose syrup. Heat this up till it's 180 degrees Celsius. After that, add 5 grams of vinegar and bring this to a boil once more. Then pour it on a silicon sheet and spread it with a pellet knife. Let it set for at least 1 hour. Now for the second layer. Pour 250 grams of coconut milk into a saucepan. And cut one vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add them to the coconut milk. Now bring this to a boil on a medium heat. Meanwhile, transfer 25 grams of sugar into a bowl together with 7 grams of pectin powder. Mix this well. Now bring the liquid to a boil on a medium heat. Once it's boiling, add the pectin sugar and while stirring boil it for 1 minute. Continue heating it and slowly add 155 grams of sugar and 50 grams of glucose syrup. Heat this up till it's 180 degrees Celsius. After that add 5 grams of vinegar and bring this to a boil once more. Then pour it on the silicon sheet and spread it with a pellet knife. Let it set for at least one hour. Now place the vanilla pâte frite on the pomegranate pâte frite and gently remove the silicon sheet. Then roll this into a beautiful spiral. Now trim the side and finish rolling the spiral. Then spread some sugar on a tray and use it to cover your pâte frite roll. Now portion it into the desired thickness and place the pâte frite with the less beautiful side down on the sugar. Keep the pâte frite dry and covered and you can keep it for many many weeks. Okay guys, that's it for today. I am really happy. Um, I'm stoked about the result. I think it looks amazing. So. Let's just dig in. I think the, the spiral shape, it's really nice. In the Netherlands we have uh, something similar only then with licorice, but that's just one layer and this is two layers combined. So that's a nice detail. Um, let's just dig in. Mm. Oh, it's really delicious. It's very sweet, but I don't mind because I love sweet, um, especially during Corona, which you can also tell a little bit, but that's going to be our little secret. But I'm really happy. Um, flavor is amazing. Texture is amazing. If you boil it uh, one degree higher, it's going to be a lot harder. If you boil it one degree lo lower, um, it's going to be too soft. So 106 degrees is really the the right temperature but really happy so um, I hope you've enjoyed the video let me know in the comments on what you want to see next like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing food in these videos but also other cooking videos and as always bon appetit